Cracking the code, noun and pronoun agreement in English. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to dive deep into the world of English grammar and take a look at a very important aspect, noun and pronoun agreement. Specifically, we'll be identifying errors in noun and pronoun agreement, so you can avoid making these mistakes in your writing and speaking. Let's get started. First and foremost, we need to understand what we mean by noun and pronoun agreement. In English, our pronouns must match or agree with the nouns they replace in terms of number and gender. This means, if the noun being replaced is singular, the pronoun also needs to be singular. Similarly, if the noun is plural, the pronoun needs to be plural. For example, correct usage, Alex lost his keys. Incorrect usage, Alex lost their keys. Now that we've understood the concept, let's move on to identifying errors in noun and pronoun agreement. Look for places where the pronoun doesn't match the noun it's replacing in terms of number or gender. Here's an example. Incorrect. If a person loses their temper, they should apologize. Correct. If a person loses his or her temper, he or she should apologize. Remember, we're replacing a person, singular, with a singular pronoun, not a plural one. Let's do some practice exercises together. 1. Each of the dogs have its own kennel. 2. The team celebrated their victory. 3. Everybody has their own way of doing things. Did you identify the errors? 1. Each of the dogs has its own kennel. 2. The team celebrated its victory. 3. Everybody has his or her own way of doing things. Great job everyone! By now, you should have a good grasp of noun and pronoun agreement in English and how to spot common mistakes. Keep practicing these exercises and before you know it, you'll be a pro. Remember, English grammar can be tricky, but with patience and practice, you'll get there. Thanks for joining me today, and see you in our next video.